Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic inventory system where we have a grid slot and panel slots. Like in the example here. Or here. Let's begin. Open up the Unreal Engine. Pick a new project. Pick the third person template and type in a name. So your project has loaded, create a new folder. Call it inventory. Then create a blueprint structure and call it item data. Create three new variables. One is the name, the other one the weight, and the amount. Also we need a is stackable, so create another one. Now let's change the types. String, float, and integer. The last one will be boolean. Save and close. Now we create the master item. So let's create a blueprint class and as the actor, call it master item and open it up. Add a scene to your components, pull it at the root. And let's create our item data. Search for item data, pick it and make it editable. Then we need some functions. Create the get item name, pull in the item data, break it, get the return node and connect the name. Make sure to make it pure and then copy them for the next function. Now we want to get item amount. So paste it and just pick the amount now and make sure to make it pure again. Same goes for the weight. And for the get is stackable. The last one will be our get item data. We don't need it, but we're on the flow, so let's do it. And we want also our static mesh to be a part of our master item, so add it compile and save. Now we can close and create some childs. Make a right click, create child and type in wood item. Make the same again for stone and for an apple. Let's change their data. So the stone gets the name stone, some weight and the mount and will be a stackable. Same goes for the wood. The name is wood, weight, yeah, let's make one, 0.5, and the amount will be one. Also a stackable, and the apple will be for not stackable, so just leave it as stackable as false. And I totally forgot to add some meshes, so let's do this. Open the full blueprint and add some static mesh here. Same goes for the wood. Make it a bit different in size so we can see an actual difference. Last but not least, the apple. After you finish this, you can add the items inside the level. 
but don't add the master item like I did here. I'm gonna delete it in a few seconds. Made a mistake here. And then we can work on the logic. So open the third person and let's start here with an E key for the trace. So add the sphere trace by channel. For the start and end, we need the follow camera and the good wall location and the forward vector to see in which direction it faces. Connect the world location to the start and for the forward vector pull up and float which will be the length of the trace and connect it with the location which is our end. Then type in a radius, I have picked 20 and draw debug for duration. Then we want to pull up from the return value in branch and from the out hit a break. We need the hit actor, which will be our item. So we cast to the master item and we save our master item as a variable, hit item. Copy and paste it and make it from the cast failed so it will be filled with nothing. Then we create a function here, which will be add item to inventory. And it will have an input as master item, item in. Pull this function into your event graph and connect them. Inside our function we make a local variable, it will make it easier to read the code. Add another function, can add item. And I'm gonna pull the hit item here in to set the input pin as master item. Then get the item amount from the hit item and the get item item weight. And then multiply both. Next up we want to um, add this to our current weight. So let's first create the current weight. Also create the max weight. Both needs to be a float, of course, so change it. And then pull it in and add it to the calculation we did before. Then check if it's less or equal our max weight. And compile so you can give the max weight a value of 50, for example. From the true and false we need a return node with an output of a boolean. This one will be true and the other one will be false. So close it up and pull it in. Add the local item here and from there also a branch. After that we want to check also if we can stack, so get is stackable. And from there, make a branch again and connect it with a true of can item add. For the false statement, let's create another function, the add item. This one needs an input, which needs to be the master item. And from the item, we want to get the get item data, so we can add this one to the inventory. But first, let's create this. Let's type in inventory and pick the item data and make sure to make it an array. From the inventory, pull the add node and add the item we get from the hit item. Close this one and add it here for the false statements. Next up, we want to check if we have the item in our inventory when it is stackable. So we check this here in this function. We put in the name and then just pull it in here, get our local item, get the item name.
there are a mistake, close it, recompile, and pull it in again. And then we have the correct input name here. And after this, we can start with the logic. So pull them for each loop here. And we want to check every item in our inventory. So break the element and from the name pull an equal. For the complete we have the return node and then we also want to have a branch from the equal name. When it's true we want a local boolean to be true and when it's false we want a local boolean to be false. So create it, pull it in, set it two times and make sure to actually make a true here. From the true we want to go to the break and then out of here when we found the exact name item. If it's not we will go out with the false. Close this one, close the add item and here oh it is in so pull up from the stackable DE branch. Then if it's false, we have the item not in our inventory, we want to add again. For the last part, we need another function, the getItemIndex, so we can actually change the amount of this item. So here it's similar to the passItemInventory. But the output will be the item index. So we can go to the add item inventory and copy some code here, pick those and the break and the equal. Paste it here, connect this and connect the equal with the item name. Again, the if branch. And this time we want to set the array index as our local variable. When we found the item, we want to get the array index, and if we don't found, we want to set it to minus one. And from the true, we want to go to the break. Then for the completed, we want to add the return node and export the local index here. After this, you can pull it out inside our add item to inventory and add the item name of our hidden item. Then we need the last function. We want to increase our item amount of the item in our inventory. So make a function for this and add the input of the index and of course of the hit item. Then change the type to the master item and we can start with the logic. From the inventory we want to get the item as a copy from the index, so we get the actual item that we want to increase. And then we get the hit item and we look at the amount from this one. Then we set the member inside our item data. Here you can pick the categories to set inside this item data. We want to increase the amount so we pick it. And then we break our item data to get the current amount. And we're gonna add this to the item mount we found on the ground. Then we set it inside our item data and now we set it inside our inventory. Compile and save and pull it in here. Don't forget the local item and I forgot the very last function here, sorry for that which will be the calculate weight. That is very important, so we can actually increase our current weight and recalculate it every time we add an item to our inventory. So connect them to all the add items, and then let's start with the logic. We need a for each loop here, then we break every item, and we multiply the weight with the amount of every item.
then add a float, which will be our current weight. And then we set this current weight to the actual item weight and the current weight together. Very simple. And that's it for this part. Then we want to um, show our inventory. Here I want to use um, just a string and in the next video we're gonna use um, the UMG. For the I key press and just break it, append the name and we want to also show us the amount so we're gonna add this here to the append and then we just add the print string so we can actually see what's in our inventory and if everything works. So compile and save. And before we finish, I forgot here something inside the calculate weight. Here we need to set the current weight to zero every time we check for the new calculate weight. So otherwise it will just add it up. And then we are finished. Now we can play and test everything. So let's go. Pick some items up here and then press I to check if everything works. And like you can see, everything works correct. In part two, we're gonna work on the UMG, like you can see on the thumbnail and at the beginning of this video. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.